gonna fix it! What are you fixing exactly? Um, I'm gonna fix the thing that fixes Frobo. Okay. Can uh we fix it? <laughs> yes, we can. Great, now you wiped out half of existence. Way to go. Frobo Why must I fix everything I touch? <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to the Frogs of Calamitous Intent. And at long, long last, we finally get the return of Frobo. Yes, as we all very much remember back in True Colors, Marcy wasn't the only casualty during that episode. Poor Frobo got demolished by Andreas. And, oh man, like, that, that shocked me. Frobo had been built up so much, and we saw so little, and for him just to be friggin' wiped out like that, that kind of just was a shock, and it was frustrating as well, because it's like, all right, so he's just done with? Is that it? Thankfully, Polly knew enough to save his head, and I guess this is the episode where we're finally gonna figure out how to make his head functional again. I mean, I assume that's where all of his cognitive abilities come from, so here's hoping they can get him back sort of the way he was. I mean, if how-to basic is any indication, all we need to fix Frobo is eggs. <laughs> yes, eggs fix everything. <laughs> 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 so we will see Frobo finally get fixed in today's episode. Fixing Frobo and Anne Sterminator. I'm guessing we're also going to deal with a pest control problem, too, mm -hmm. if the uh, title's any indication. We got a lot of handyman or handy Anne in this. <laughs> oh, yeah. But honestly, Frobo's the priority here, because mm -hmm. I want to see him come back, and I want to see how he's going to kick ass in his new body. Obviously, we saw the poster. We know he's going to be little car Frobo now. I guess this is the process to seeing how that comes about. But the point is, he's coming back, and we're going to get to see him be all adorkable again as before. I hope, anyway. So let's get started and watch the return of Frobo and play. Now you wiped out the other half of existence. Way to go. Stupid. Now, the internet. Oh. Oh. Answers to the mysteries of the universe right at your fingertips. It's an endless well of knowledge. More like an endless well of cat videos. I was just yeah. going to say that. Oh. Do you think you self taught? <laughs> I'm a kitty cat. And I'm done, 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 your fingers Wait, behind your back. Your what fingers? I know. <laughs> and everything's repaired. <laughs> the look on their faces was pretty funny though, huh, Probes? Mm-hmm. All right, you're still broken. But don't worry, we can fix you. Anne did say you can learn anything you want on the internet. To the internets. <laughs> you should give it a try. To the Dougal. <laughs> and the wiki. Dancing <laughs> 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 rabbit. Because, inevitably, best of angry gamers. Okay. 
Seriously, take that into consideration, please. More than just that, actually do what they say. Yes. Like, I know they're YouTubers, but some YouTubers actually do know what they're talking yes. about. When I hit this button, they'll be back. I should get the mail! My hate gravel is bumpy and bumpy. Oh, 
impressive. Hmm. Looks like his hard drive is still in one piece at least. I think next time we just need to tune the PID controllers. Oh yeah, increases lateral and longitudinal stability. Totally. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just curious, what was the covariance of the pose estimate coming out of the SLAM module? Simultaneous localization and mapping? Techno babble, techno babble. We oh, really got to this computer stuff, huh? Hmm. Maybe we should have used the interwebs to educate ourselves too, instead of watching cat <laughs> You take that back. <laughs> <laughs> He got so screwed in his Yeah. He <laughs> lost his one of a kind controller. Which he probably needed to play that game he was yeah. playing. And then, and then that... game erased or just turned off. Yeah, during an essential battle. And now the yard is ruined. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. No. But hey, at least Robo's back. Yeah. His head's back anyway. <laughs> she should have like just asked the robot girls to like help. They would have really should have. But again, showing just how impatient she was. Yeah, yeah I don't see the logic of waiting to go back to the city. Like, most of the people that don't even know what a robot is, it's assumed that the technology came from Earth, so... Whatever, they got their uh, experts, that's all that matters. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Gargoyles... The Claw! <laughs> <We're> the Clamps! <laughs> He's a soft girl, like... Is that a nail Ooh. gun? Ooh, a nail gun! <laughs> they just cobbled together from the trash. Good Clopot! Did you get the book? Mm. Oh, Why, that's great! Wait, that's, that's book three! You rusty bucket, I need book two! Book two out of stock. Ugh, oh, yeah. have mercy. Next to the tap in hand isn't dead yet. Working on it. Well, looks like we'll have to up the stakes. Oh! Mm. You have one hour to destroy that kid. Or the bomb planted in your chest will destroy you. Whoa. Okay, cool. Andrew is out. <laughs> wow. Oh. More of that uh, ancient amphibia. That's, That's not, not a good idea giving your henchman just a time limit to die. All American engineering in Fumigator 4. <laughs> Trachosaurus! Oh, I wish I had that speed. Mmm, me too. <laughs> Did she just become a Disney princess? <laughs> Apparently. You know, Anne, it really is remarkable how much you have grown. I mean, you used to be so irresponsible. Now you changed the grade on your report card, you're responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think you guys knew about that. But you really changed. And you have been so upfront and honest with us this whole time. Right. Uh, upfront and honest. We're just so proud of you. Come here, sweetie. Bring it in. <laughs> Oh, you feel bad. Uh, gotta go get some coffee ice cream. Hey, mm. good kids. I can't do this anymore. What? Eat coffee ice cream? I never told them about Andreas. Or the robot hunting us. Or the hunking invasion. Soap oh, brand soap. I <laughs> think I'm being upright and honest. But I'm not. Mom, Dad, there's something I have to tell you. What is it, sweetie? <sighs> well, the thing is... <laughs> what the heck was that? Right on our roof! <laughs> What's going on? Hmm. Uh, oh, God. Oh. Mom, this is not a workout room. Yes, it is. When I thought you ran away, it's when I worked out all my stress. Wait, why is this one dressed like a doctor? A mom can't dream, can't dream. <laughs> why do I get the feeling I'm not living up to your expectations? <laughs> Work on that later. Yeah. <laughs> Too many ands. It's after you. What? That's it. Crush your dreams. There's a couple of things I haven't told you guys. Honey, why is there a robot chasing us? The king of Amphibia kind of has it out for us. She punched him in the face. <laughs> what? I saw the roof. I saw the roof. Ah! Uh. Hey, no bark. Can't this bubble snail go any faster? I'm not used to running from my life from a crazy robot. I know just how you feel, Mr. V. <laughs> the first time that robot attacked us. This isn't the first time. You're not helping. Hey. 
guess now that he's about to die, uh, staying covert is, uh, not the Yeah. Priority. He's not a priority anymore. <laughs> Anyone for tennis? Fumigator 5? Yeah. It's like a Sharknado. It's LA. Yeah. Look at traffic on my ass. Make sure you don't lose map search. That one is no good. That hurt. Okay. That, that this, works. This works. Sting. Oh, all right, Dad. That was awesome. I'm impressed considering he's driving with sandals and socks. I hope so. Sure, it's not gonna come back. How apropos. I think it's gonna matter, dude. I hope you have insurance. <laughs> really good insurance. It's either that or you get <laughs> annihilated. Mm -hmm. You can run or you can help. Up to you. Mm -hmm. Really hoping for a plan. Wow, it's such a real shit if it gets fooled by a basketball and a mop. <laughs> so many ends. She can lift a friggin' mm. sledgehammer. Painless tech. <laughs> Dead ends! <laughs> wow, Ma! Good arm! Kudos to her for being able to run in Crocs. <laughs> Please get away from the killer android right now. That is about to explode. portion of this season and now we go on to the middle portion the uh t-1000 frobo is officially dead mm -hmm. and now we got the fbi to worry about <laughs> arguably just as terrifying so freaking andreas <laughs> what was your plan it's like you just immediately assume because you set a self-destruct timer on your robot that it's going to succeed just because of that? And now you don't have anybody to report back on, and nobody can get your book for you. I guess he's like, okay, this is taking too long, let's speed this up a little bit. And he just assumed it would work out. Once again, these two episodes, the, the same uh, thing. Too much impatience and not thinking things through. 
I mean, I assume he'd just send another robot if he realized the first mm. one didn't succeed, since he does have a ton of them. Yeah, but now he doesn't even know if it succeeded or not because he got rid of his scout. I mean, I assume when he's not able to, like, contact him, he'll probably figure, yeah, he obviously failed. Because if he did succeed, he wouldn't have blown up. I don't know, yeah, I kind of feel that's a big misstep. And, like, Andrews has been really clever up to this point. It just felt like to move the story along and get other characters involved without the intervention of the robot, like, okay, we're just going to put this timer and let the rest play out itself. So that means that this is twice that he's done bad planning and it didn't account for something. Mm -hmm. Didn't account for uh, Sasha and the Toad backstabbing Anne. And didn't account for this. I mean, it's not like he's mm -hmm. all-knowing. Mm -hmm. It's not, like, super smart. He definitely is clever and conniving, but think about how much he had to rely on Marcy just to get his own kingdom in order, just to make it more mm -hmm. efficient, and how much he had to rely on her just to get Anne and Sasha where he needed them to be. Obviously, he's not all-knowing. I guess because he's so used to things working out, he just doesn't consider mm. that, hey, maybe they might not. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, this one, yeah, definitely was the uh, changer in this season. Because now we have, like, the new, I guess, bad guys? Because we don't know if the FBI are really against them or if they're going to end up helping them. I mean, ultimately it's in the best interest of everyone if they work together, especially once Andreas invades. I'm pretty sure at this point the FBI is a considerable threat. It's probably going to be like in Gravity Falls. In that they are a threat in that they can easily, like, ruin things for everybody, but they're going to keep getting fooled in some capacity. Yeah, but nonetheless, they're a threat. I know, they're still obvious. the FBI, they're still an obvious threat, mm -hmm. but I don't know, we'll see how competent they are exactly. Funny thing, I'm watching another uh, show right now, A uh, Hell of a Boss, and the last episode, they actually had FBI agents start tailing them but these were like fbi agents who were like into the paranormal the occult so obviously everyone thinks they're nut jobs so, so deb pretty much <laughs> yeah but here's the thing though is that the demons when they escape they obviously know that humans think of those types as kooks so there's no way their secret can get out but they get too cocky and they end up getting caught on camera as we obviously saw and was caught on camera with the robot so yeah, they're going to have their proof. Not like they're doing that good a job hiding their secret, if I'm no. being quite honest. <laughs> they really aren't. Okay. I mean, honestly, though, it's L.A. Like they showed with the uh, the two cops. They probably just get mistaken for filming a movie all yeah. the time. But I would assume they need, like, permits and everything to make sure that the location's okay and everything. And that things need to be shut down. So, yeah, that, that's where the FBI would be right in, you know, pursuing this. I forget what show or movie it's from, but, like, I remember a quote a character once said about how even if humans see, like, the supernatural, if something weird happens in front of their face, their minds will automatically try to logic it because they will most of the time inadvertently not believe it to be what it actually is. For fear of that, they'll be thought of, like, crazy or whatever. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that's a logical thing, but mm -hmm. like I said, at the very least, this does warrant investigation. Right. If I had to guess who uh, Mr. X is, it's probably the uh, RuPaul-looking agent. Yeah. It seems to be an obvious point. I yeah. don't think there'd be another person behind all of this. I mean, I'd be surprised if there were. There's already so many characters, and we already have all these other bad guys to think about. And yeah, as for the uh, Frobo episode... It was heartbreaking, like, seeing Polly trying so hard to bring him back and seeing that the others really don't care. And I get it, he hadn't been with them that long and didn't have quite the bond with him that Polly did, but still seemed kind of heartless that, you know, she's toiling away in the garage by herself with the most minimum knowledge of robotics that she has, and they're discontent just watching cat videos. I mean... If, if I may play devil's advocate, I'm not saying that they're being, you know, completely heartless. They are concerned that, oh, she doesn't know what she's doing, and they're afraid it could wind up, you know, causing more trouble. So I see where they're coming from with that. I guess so. And it should have been obvious from the get-go that they could have 
use the internet and, you know, YouTube and everything to actually look up how to uh, fix him. But, you know, cat videos, come on. <laughs> That, that's what yeah. rules the internet. I mean, how many times have you sat down to look up a video about info to either to do, like, learn a skill or perform something, and you're getting distracted by a completely stupid video? I have ADD, man. It's like, that. that's always happening. Mm -hmm. Always happening. Always getting distracted by any little thing and, you know, completely forgetting. Also, instructional videos... I don't have the attention span. Some people do, and that's great. You're the ones that are going to do what you need to do. Me, I'm not that person, but <laughs> that's, that's besides the point. <laughs> it's like me too. I have ADHD. It's like having 20 tabs open, three of them are running videos, and there's music coming from somewhere, but you don't know where. <laughs> I swear, it's like... They say that, you know, kids shouldn't have senior moments, but I've been having them since <laughs> for as long as I can remember. Since the internet's been readily available to oh, us. Oh, even before that. <laughs> I mean, how many times do I walk into a room and completely forget why I came in the room in the first place? Well, I blame the silence on that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the... the <laughs> but yeah, I was glad she was able to sort of fix him. At least she got his memory back, at the mm -hmm. very least. Because that was concerning to me, especially when we saw that the uh, other robot was able to actually track it through it just being activated. I finally remembered uh, what the scene of them falling reminded me of uh, in uh, Spirited Away. He turns from a dragon to a human, and they're both like free-falling and crying as they're holding hands. Like, I'm sure there's been other stuff, but that, that's the first thing that Miyazaki film was the first thing that came to mind. I, I was just constantly thinking, especially when, like, Polly gets inside, I was just thinking of, like, Gundam and other, uh, you know, mech-related <laughs> animes. I'm hoping that uh, now that Polly has met up with the uh, ro robotic girls proper, they can actually work together to get him his appropriate body, or at least something similar to it. I mean, obviously they're not going to be able to fully replicate it, because I'm assuming his robotic tech is probably alien, even by amphibious standards, so they're probably just going to have to wing it. Also, uh, what you call it, so I've actually been re-watching our previous, you know, Amphibia live reactions, and you were very right about one thing. What? That you compared it to the Iron Giant. Yeah. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much what he mm -hmm. is. He, he's like a bit of a dullard, mm -hmm. but at the same time he has a heart, but he's also a deadly killing mm -hmm. machine, and he sacrifices himself at the end. Yeah. Which also makes him Android 16 from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, hopefully he'll be back in his good old self in his uh, car form. I'm interested to see when they put him in the car, because <laughs> it's so cute, and I just want to see him, like, like putt-putt around a little bit. <laughs> And yeah, I'm interested to see how the FBI goes down with this. It's probably going to be like an E.T. situation, if I had to mm -hmm. guess. E.T., Iron Giant. Let's just throw all yeah. the references in there, show you all the references. Like I said, uh, until otherwise notified, the FBI is a threat. Possibly an inept threat, but still a threat nonetheless. Mm. <laughs> they, they should not be taken lightly. Nope. So what's the next episode? Next episode, we have Mr. X <laughs> and Sprig's birthday. <laughs> it's really his birthday. We, yeah, we haven't really celebrated any birthdays, right? Not that I remember. Like, aside from aside hands, from hands, hands at the obvious, beginning, yeah. in which all the shit happens. Should be interesting, though. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like I said, we'll finally meet Mr. X and see what their whole deal is. I feel like they probably dealt with creatures from Amphibia before, or something in that vein, especially if the uh, frog that stole the Calamity Box showed up around some point. <laughs> I also feel like Mr. X should have a bag over his head and be have an internet page where he divulges secrets. Yeah. <laughs> and then gets sent to the island. The island. <laughs> yes, but until next time when we see what Mr. X's deal is, I'm Cat McBerry. I'm Doug McBerry. See you on the island. I'm gonna fix it! Ah! Bang, bang! Ah! Bang. Don't destroy our new camera. <laughs>